Hello everybody! Welcome to the stream. Good to see you guys here for our uh, special event. I'm excited about this one. We have a really good event today that I am very much looking forward to. Um, I had some updates happen on my computer too, so y'all let me know how the sound is, if anything funky is happening. If you can hear me and the game and everything okay. So, you can see that I am surrounded by flowers and this beautiful flower portal hub up here too that I'm going to show you guys. Um, we have been having an event go on on the Happy Gamer server around um, April showers bring May flowers. It's a little saying around here. And so for all of May, uh, some people were working on some flower builds and flower designs. And so we're having a little bit of a contest with them today. And you guys in chat are going to vote for who's the winner. Yay! Yay! That'll be fun. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully perfectly smoothly the first time I've done this. We'll have no technical difficulties at all. <laughs> Everybody cross your fingers. <laughs> Let me see who all is here in chat already. Hi, MSG first again. <laughs> You're going for a record. Ozzy, hi. Jan, hi. How are you? Hey, Oily Josh. Good to see you. Hi, Raquel again. Brianna, hey, you're awake. Glad you made it, friend. What an ugly time. Oh, I know. It's like, what, 3 a.m. for you? Yeah. I, I can do yours first if you want, so you can go back to bed <laughs> since you're already up. Um, Whisper, hey there. Good to see you. Um, how's everyone? Everyone doing good? Y'all are chatty. Chatty, chatty. Hey, Vinny. Welcome in. Good to see you. Okay. So, let's get this thing started. Um, the first build that I'm going to show you guys, and then we'll go through and look at all the builds, and then, uh, do the voting after we see them. And, um... I haven't seen most of them. I've seen this one because this was actually built also as a part of another build that we're doing. And this build is by Tiki. And it is kind of like a flower portal hub. So we're actually using this one as the portal hub for the entries in the contest today as well. So he has all these pretty flowers down here in a sitting area. And I love that we can plant oak trees where we want them now. We used to not be able to do that. I don't I don't know if he planted that one or if it was there. I don't remember. I, I think that he planted it. Um, but it's, yeah, because it's built on, like, see, it's one of those big stone circle things. And he used that and built the oak tree in the middle. And then we have portals here, some to a location that we're working on here on the server for special events. And then we also have people come and put their portals for their entries today in here as well. But let me get, um, let me get into camera mode real quick so that y'all can get a better look at what this is doing. Because... I think it's a cool view. And if it seems like I'm doing things a little slower today, it's because I'm not at home like I normally am. The family is sick, so I came over to my mother-in-law's house to stream today. And so things are a little bit weird and not in the place they're supposed to be. <laughs> but this is it. Isn't that pretty? You can really see the shape of it up here. Tiki always does a really good job of integrating things in 
with the landscape that's there too. You can kind of see the flower design from up here too. So it's got flowers planted and it's got flowers um, in the design, in the shape of the design as well. So that's our first one, Tiki's Flower Portal Hub. I should um, find a key for Free Fly since I use it so much. Sound is good. You can hear me. Okay, thank you. You never know when there's updates. They like messing things up. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to start. Oh, no, I'm going to start with Brianna. I was going to start at one end, but I'm going to start with Brianna because it's 3 a.m. where she is, and she just got up for this, which she's a trooper. I know hers is over on the side. Uh, do you believe? I think I went too far. Yes, Brie Garden. Oh, you changed the name, I forgot. On the uh, poll it's gonna say Brie Secret because she was hiding it, but it's actually Brie Garden. And she said that this one is best viewed at night. So, I'm in my goddess mode. So I'm gonna switch it to night. Oops. Oh no. Duh. Let's do one. There. Yeah. I did point five because I'm just so used to turning things to daylight instead of nighttime <laughs> so I can see them. Okay, here we go. I'm excited to see what people have done. I haven't gone and looked at any of them. Because I wanted to be uh, surprised and impressed when I come and see them for the contest. Hmm. Hmm. Hello. How are you? <laughs> what? This is like a whole build in here. Is this whole thing for the flower build, Brie? This is huge. Does it matter which way I go first? Do you want to show me? Oh, it's your plains farm. Upstairs. Okay. Up we go. Brie likes making these custom staircases, too. Those are always cool. I like all the glowy things. We've done a lot of decoration here. Then outside we go. Okay. Following you. This is nice. I like all the glowy. Look, it looks like a mirror. Try not to get to see. There you are. Oh, my God. oh wow. Wow. This is beautiful. There's like something glowing over there. All the mushrooms like lighting up the path and the building and everything. Let's look at this. Ooh, outdoor dining. 
That's a really cool idea. All the little lights and the spaces in the wall. Isn't it? And look, you kept like the tall bushes in place and built around them. So it's like you have more advanced landscaping going on. This is pretty. Ooh, a fire pit table. I love that. And look, it's a flower. The canopy is like a flower shape. This is so beautiful, Brie. Nice. I'm going to go into a uh, free fly mode for a second. Get a good perspective on it. I love all the glowy stuff. That's really pretty. Right? Hey, basic builder, welcome in. Good to see you. We're looking at flower builds today, basic builder. I love that she's kept her bushes intact. I know, right? Yeah, I love it when you can do that. Because there's so many things we can't plant. But that is... Um... The prize today... Everyone that enters the contest is going to get two bushes or plants of any kind that they want to put anywhere they want. And then the first place winner, best overall, is going to get plants plus they can have vines put on any one of their builds that they want. Any amount of vines that they want. So that's exciting. There's a lot more flowers over here too. You have really good eye for spacing out all the flowers on the walkways. Oh, and the windmill. The bees in it. That's cute. This is nice. It's in here. Glowy, glowy everywhere. Ready. Awesome. Have we seen it all? Is there something else that I need to follow you to? I love the movement on this thing. And the glow. It's so cool. You need some inspiration, base builder? Pet locks. Did I miss a pet locks? I didn't see a pet locks. Oh, I went out the wrong door. Where's the pet locks? I hear it. Oh, there it is. I have at nighttime for me. I didn't see it right away. And it's brighter on the stream than it is on my screen. I lighten the stream up so y'all can see things better. How cool. This is awesome, Brie. Very well done. I need to mark this on my map. I don't have this space on my map. Let's see if I go back the right way. Down the path and to the right, right? 
feel like I was on a different path. Was I walking through the flowers? The other side of the building. Oh yeah. Whoop, I fell in a hole. <laughs> Maybe I should lighten up my screen too. My screen too. So I'm not walking into everything. Awesome. Thanks for sharing this, Bree. Let me mark this on my map real quick. Free planes. Well, hopefully you can find some inspiration today. Basic. Although I think you usually give people inspiration, don't you? <laughs> cool. Thank you. You gonna go back to sleep now? You have work today. <laughs> Okay. Um, all right, I'm just gonna start going in order. Those two are not for these. That's not for these. Contest today. This one is, did Matt say time of day? Best viewed on a clear night. Okay, I'm already on a clear night. This is Matt's Tranquil Grove. Please visit at night. Here we go. It's a twofer. <laughs> we get a nice base tour and the flowers, right? <clears throat> okay, so this is Matt's build of Matt's Gaming. And he actually has a YouTube channel too and does some awesome tutorials. If you're interested in that, check him out for sure. Um, I don't know if anybody has a link to his channel, but if anyone does, any of the mods, could you drop a link to Matt's Gaming? Hey, Erica. Welcome in. Good to see you. Hi, TK. Not been around. Things are hectic at the moment. That's okay. Real life comes first. Go through the portal. Follow the path up the ramp. Okay. It just occurred to me. I hope none of y'all are sending me into a trap trap today. <laughs> Go through the portal and follow it up the path. I think the uh, I think the biggest concerns about traps is going to be when um when that bear trap comes out, or troll trap, whatever they're going to call it. Just says trap on it. Okay, we're in the meadows. Mm. This is pretty. Lots of glowy stuff, too. Is this... You did this as a bridge? Look, that's cool. You like use the beams as a bridge and he put stuff underneath it so it glows. It's a lot of glowing stuff. Oh, and look at all the lighting. He used the headlamps on armor stands to put lighting coming out from the bridge. This is so pretty. Wow. Look at that glow. What is that glow? Are those swamp keys? Did he like bury swamp keys? 
or maybe he like did the chair trick and got inside the tree and put something inside the tree so the light is coming out. I'm trying to remember what gives that big of a glow like that. You think keys could be? It seems like a really big glow around though. That is freaking cool, Matt. <laughs> That's really neat. And he's using the circlets again to light up the tree. Like under lighting. There's little benches. Look how pretty. I love the glowy stuff, don't y'all? Looks like he's... Frostner, yeah, but Frostner I think is a bit wider of a light. Let's see, I have a Frostner on me. Yeah, it kind of has that snowy effect to it. It's similar, but it doesn't have the white snowy effect. It must be swamp keys. Yeah, I'm multiple keys. I'm totally a glow head. <laughs> You're funny. Was, I think I saw a sign over here. Did I see a sign? Hello and welcome. Thank you for visiting. <laughs> this is gorgeous, Matt. So this is Matt's gaming channel. Whenever we're ready to vote. His path and garden around the oak tree. I hope I'm not missing anything. Let me put on my headlight real quick just to make sure there's not more path around here I didn't see because like I said, it's darker on my screen than it is in stream. I think that's it. Hello and welcome. Oh wait, look, he's got all kinds of messages. Do we start at the left? This grove started from a few trees around day 200. Ardent Defender planted the first few trees here. I use carrots, onions, turnips, shrooms, and trees. The glow is resist meads, swamp keys, and circlets. I wanted a spot that felt alive and relaxing. Great views at night and sunrise, hidden bees, Thank you for visiting. That's cool. That's even just a cool idea the way that he did the signs to tell a little story, like a little informational board. That's cool, Matt. Old skeleton tower. Right, Josh? I love the signs. That's a really good, like, you can make a book. Like you're reading the book. I mean, it would be a very thick book, but still. <laughs> yeah, that means this is cool. Very nice, Matt. That's pretty. And it wasn't a trap after all. Yay! <laughs> the grove is so peaceful. Yeah. Yeah, he wanted it to seem peaceful and alive. I think that uh, he accomplished that. Matt's grove.
Yeah, lots of inspiration from that idea. Raquel writes down these great ideas. <laughs> no, I love seeing what people come up with. Remember, folks, show some love and support and hit that thumbs up. Thank, T thank you, TK. Have a good one. See you later, TK. Okay, let's see who's next. Tal Spring. I don't see any signs about needing to do it at night. So I'm going to change it back. Day, unless it looks like it's something that needs to be at night we could change it back got flowers as soon as we uh, step out of the portal is nice. He integrated some of the natural stuff too with the raspberries in. Got abominations and butte berries decorating it with the beehive sunk down in the bottom. Oh, look. Looks like he's uh, using some of my wall tutorial. <laughs> Making the walls reinforced. This is cute. Let's try to, we're in the meadows, but it has pine trees, so he planted these pine trees to be here. Nice. Nice spacing of the plants around, too. I'm wondering, because he calls it a spring. Is that spring like the season? Or is it supposed to look like a spring? Not sure which one. It's very pretty though. Nice and relaxing here too in the meadows. Jan, the big Perry's look so good on the Abbey Trophy. I'm stealing that one for sure. Yeah. I was just thinking with the big Perry's, it kind of reminds me of like... You know, like the center of a flower. I don't know what those things are called in the center of the flower. But it reminds me of that. Like if you were gonna make a wreath even, you could use those and put the butte berries like as the little center of flowers in it. I like using the Abbey trophies. It gives such a nice wild look. It does. They're really cool. It was nice when we got those in because it's very unique and different from all of the other trophies that we have. It's bigger and it's kind of natural looking. Good job, Tal. So that's Tal Spring for when we're voting. Okay, who's next? Bree. We did Bree already. Oily Farm. This is Oily Josh. And you had a sign here about time, right? Early morning. Time of day, 0.35. Okay. Time of day, 0.35. Here we go. See what Oily Josh has in store for us. Hello. How are you? Are you planning to die today? <laughs> I got a 
pick on him. I gotta pick on him a little bit. Welcome, flower patch in the backyard. Lead the way, friend. I think I have this base marked. Through the door to the garden. Ooh. This is pretty. Look! It's like right on the line between the Black Forest and the Plains. So it has like both styles of things integrated in. Nice! Love the well. I love wells. What a good idea using the Ford's cooler for the well. Was that a pain to get that on there? Or did it pop right on? A little, yeah. The Ford's cooler, we go around and use it for so many things. No, it didn't pop right on there. I wouldn't, I wouldn't think so. I love how you've integrated the two different biomes together. It gives you a lot more like landscaping options included. She's got the plains grass and the regular grass and the trees and the rocks. This is why we always say never destroy any rocks around someone else's build because they might be planning on using that rock for something. Look at that. The bees are integrated into it. That's cool. Very exact timing. Lovely. The well looks incredible, doesn't it, Erica? I love that well. I'm excited to get new plants too with the Mistlands. Inspired by your log thing. Aww. Thank you. That makes me so happy. Floristic. Hey, Christy. Coming by to say hi and leave you a like. Enjoy the stream. Thanks, Floristic. Thanks for popping by. I love how the windmills add lotion. Oh, this is where you have the log up there. From my Viking Jack log. That's cool. It's a lumber mill. That's cool. How did you get up there? Back here, maybe? You have three of them up? Whoops. Oh, look! Nice! It's like one of them's being processed and two of them are waiting to be processed. That's very creative, Josh. Are you trying to destroy your own build? I love it. That's cool. And you've even got like different sizes of them too. I need to get a video out on that, on the Viking Jack. I still haven't done that. The Jack logs up and such. Nice. I bet. This is pretty. Jan says she likes the whole look. I do too. It's very nice. Very creative. Hey, Chris yourself. Welcome into the stream. Good to see you. Right? Isn't that creative, Raquel? I love it. 
it looks realistic. Yeah. And I like how it integrates the natural landscape and plants and grass and rocks and everything with the two biomes mixed together. I love it when you find two biomes mixed together in general because it makes for creative looks of things. Okay. Thanks, Josh. Thanks for showing me around. How did I get out here? Your favorite builds integrate the two? Yeah. It's like hidden. It's a little hidden door how to get back in. <laughs> Look, see why I asked Josh? Are you gonna die today, Josh? <laughs> I see you found the trap. <laughs> Josh dies while building more than anybody else, I think. <laughs> this one, right? <laughs> so we gotta give him a little bit of grief. We have this thing going where Josh has to leave leave his graves all over the world. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Thanks, Josh. Okay, who's next? Ozzy Bloom. Ozzy Serpent Bloom. Night viewing is the best. Okay. Back tonight we go. I have got the power! <laughs> You're littering the server with your death. It's very entertaining though. <laughs> Ooh, I can see why night is the best. Let me turn off my light. Lots of glowy stuff. The green torches on that grass makes a really cool glow. This is pretty. Who's behind me? Oh, it's Ozzy. That makes much more sense. Hello! How are you? You want to give me the tour or should I just wander? Wander around. Got a nice little outdoor dining here. What is that? Oh, it's a serpent trophy. A serpent bloom. I get it now. That's cool. If we could lay that back on its back. That would be a really neat giant flower, wouldn't it? But it still looks like a giant flower. This is creative, Ozzy. I haven't seen anybody do something like that before. So awesome, Ozzy, right? Very cool. How creative, right? I keep thinking I want to do more with the serpent trophies. They're so big and unique and I haven't really done anything with them other than just like stick them on a wall somewhere. The path. Am I on your way? Let me go. Oh yeah! Look! The path is a mixture between the stone blocks and the rock stone walkway that's nice I think it always gives a good effect when you mix things together like that not everybody everything is exactly the same you're definitely using that <laughs> right it looks like some kind of huge tropical bloom it does I love the red on the serpent. Like, I want to find more ways 
to do something with that. The rare serpent flower. <laughs> I hear giggle jerks. Yeah, I hear them out there too. But if they mess with Ozzy's build, I'll, I'll learn them. <laughs> I'll learn them good not to do that anymore. <laughs> Hey Matt, welcome to the stream. Good to see you. And stream. <laughs> we already did yours, Matt. Everybody loved it. Yeah, and the glow and how you did the bridge and the signs to tell the little story. That was really cool, Matt. Yeah, this is nice too in the plains. You can integrate all the different types of plants in it as well. The barley and the flex swaying in the breeze. Nice. This is really cool. Thanks, Ozzy. Did I miss anything? I think I saw everything. It's all inside the walls. Yeah. Awesome. Cool. All right. This is Ozzy's Serpent Bloom. Hey, Mitsano. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. We're going through looking at builds for flower builds. Okay, Jan, you're up next. You don't say anything about time, so I'm gonna assume daytime. Unless you tell me real quick. No, do it at night. Here we go. Where are we at? We're in the meadows. Flowers in a quiet place. An unassuming scene. Seems to me a sacred space. Peaceful and serene. Ah, That's nice. It's like a little poem to go with it. All the flowers popped in a second later. I have a feeling because there's a lot of instances around here. Give it a sec to load. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Fleurs. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you, fellow Viking. Yeah, they were fast growing flowers. They like said, oh, she's here. Quick. Grow fast. <laughs> This is a little relaxing area. I love the sound of the wind and everything swaying in the breeze. Oh, you used an abomination trophy too. Oh, with mushrooms in it. That's cool. Kind of like a big glowy flower kind of thing. And I like how some of the fences are kind of messed up. Gives it a much more like a live used view or feeling. Am I supposed to go up here too? Looks like we have a path here. Who's up here? Well, it's not Jan, so maybe I'm not supposed to go there. 
That's Vori up there. Ah, oh, you made a lot of progress already on that build, Vori. Isn't it? Yeah. Vori is in the background. <laughs> I love the look of flowers growing with the grass. Gives it a wildflower look. Yes, exactly. You're going to be using that too? Yeah. Yes, it definitely feels like wildflowers. With the grass put back around it. I like the broken fences. It gives it a feel like it's been here for a long time, right? That's cool. Very nice, Jan. It's pretty. Getting a little frame spikadelphia going on over here. <laughs> Peaceful and serene is right, right? Yeah, very natural. Definitely. Nice job. Okay, so that was Jan's wildflowers. Okay, so I think we have one more. Raquel, I think, is on the back side over here. Yes. Do you have a please view day and night? Okay, we'll start with day then. Raquel's flowers. Here we go. It is less of a garden and more of a discovery of something from the past. Yeah, it feels like that. Feels cool. Ooh. Sit for a spell and enjoy the view. Wow. Look at this. That's beautiful, Raquel. Like all through the valley. Oh, who's here? Is it Raquel? Hi, Raquel. I can't wave while I'm sitting. Hello. Let's have a seat. That's so pretty. And then like the big flower at the top, like a fire flower. That's nice. Right, Erica? The fire and ice fall flower falls. Oh, cool. Fire and ice flower falls. That's a cool concept. With the different levels, like the flowers are coming down the falls. It's pretty. Let me look at it at night, too. Ooh. Chloe. And a giant flower pit at the top. This is pretty. It's so peaceful. Even the wards giving off their glow seems peaceful with the flowers out in the meadows. This is your spot to relax and de-stress. I can see why. It's a very peaceful place. Right? I know, look at all the golem trophies. Now that it's finished. <laughs> it was stressful creating. Well, it turned out beautiful. I'm gonna fly around a little bit. 
and go look at that uh, flower at the top as well. Oh, look, she's got ice. Had to, tried to get deer in here, but they spooked away. Um, and ice, that's cool. Raquel has a um, nice big buck at her main base in the meadows. That's in her deer preserve. Nice. It's a nice combination of fire and ice. How pretty. It's flowing down the hill. That's cool. Feel like frolicking? <laughs> Definitely a prime frolicking location for sure. <laughs> That is a place that demands a frolic. <laughs> Y'all are funny. <laughs> okay, so I think that's all of the ones that we had entered for today. So, here's the big question. Will this thing work? Never done this before. I'm going to try and make it work and see if it does. So I have a poll started. I'm going to start it. Did it go? It didn't go. Start poll. Hmm. No, really. Start poll. I'm hitting start poll, but it's not doing anything. Or is it, did anything show up there? Oh, it did, sorry. Different screams, different screens. <laughs> Scream screens. Okay. Oh, that's not very clear in instructions. That's now how, that's not how I thought it was gonna show. But okay, yeah, so you use the command, exclamation point, vote. And then it's done by the first letter of somebody's name, if there's similar names, and it's the first two. So if you do exclamation point, vote, capital B, that's for Brianna. J is for Josh. M is for Matt's Grove. OI is for Oily's flowers. OZ is for Ozzy's serpent. R is for Raquel's flowers. TA is for Tal Spring. And TI is for Tiki's Flower Hub. Does that make sense? So I'm gonna go back and run through them just really fast. I'm not gonna like go all the way around everything again, but I'm just gonna like pop <clears throat> in and out of the portals to refresh anybody's memory. So this is R, Raquel's Fire and Ice Flower Fall. J is for Jan, yes. Get through here. We begin back at the beginning. Okay, so first one is Tiki's hub, which is this one right here, the portal hub. Matt's Grove, M is for Matt. Uh, 
then this is the one oh it had two portals and it had the glowing bridge somebody just throw a rock at me rude okay so this is the one that had the glowing bridge that went down to the area on the end that was lit up with the swamp keys and the big um, oak tree and had the signs was Tao Spring. So Tao Spring will be TA. This was Tao Spring. The Abomination Trophy in there. Okay. Next was Bree's garden. Bree has arrived. Bree, aren't you supposed to be asleep? <laughs> so this was the one that was her garden in the plains. Okay. So Bree is B. Next is Oily's Farm. Decorated with his grave. <laughs> Oily's Farm was the one that had the hidden door at the plains and black forest and the lumberjack thing up top. Can't see what I'm going. There it is. I'm lost. I'm lost down here. Oily swarm. Um, yeah. So, oily Josh is O I. You want to vote for them all? I know. I know. I mean. This is Ozzy's Serpent Bloom. Yeah, because, like, I can have y'all vote. And then I don't have to choose because they're all cool. <laughs> Plus, it's a way for you guys to get involved, too. And get to participate in it as well. Even if you're not on the server. I hear you jerk, giggle jerks out there. So, this is Ozzy's Serpent Bloom. I don't like having to choose just one. I know. <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> this is Jan's Wildflower Patch. That you stumble upon the peaceful wildflowers. And Jan is J. Have one J. Hey, Aaron. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Okay, that's something else. So then there's one more on the back. Oh, and that was Raquel. That's the last one that we looked at. Yeah different things in each one, right? Gives you different ideas and types of things to vote for. Let's bring it back today. Okay. So 
So, we've seen them all. We've reviewed them all. Everyone had a chance to vote, I presume. Let me go check on the results and see what's happening. Everybody cross your fingers this thing worked. If not, we're going to have to go to plan B. Okay. So, tells me how, what it's going to say when it says so-and-so was the most voted option of the poll but how do I get it I may be foiled by technology. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I thought I had this figured out. But it is my first time doing this, so. Might need to muddle through it with you guys. Let's see, if I go in. This is going to be crummy if it doesn't work right. If I change this. To say, let's say 10 seconds then maybe it'll end automatically. Okay. Everybody crossing your fingers again? Oh no, did it start at new? Everybody vote again real quick, just in case. You declare everyone a winner. <laughs> Everybody remember who you voted for? I mean, I could just go back after stream and count them all up, but I wanted it to do it in stream. See what happens. Cue the raid, just my luck. <laughs> that would suck. I'll knock them out for you if they show up.
count the votes. I don't know if everybody's voted again. Noob streamer. Noob. Noob streamer. <laughs> Let me see. So, it's been 10 seconds, right? Grr. Grr. Well, I don't know what I did wrong. I might need to go pick on one of my streamer friends and ask them what I did wrong of why I'm not getting the results. Yeah, no, that wasn't plan B. I was just trying a different thing. So what do you guys think? So we can do it one of two different ways. Either, <clears throat> excuse me, um... I can just go back after stream and count them up and let the person know. Or I have um, I have a poll made in a Google Doc that I could put in chat and y'all could click on that and go vote on that poll real quick through a Google poll. What do you guys think? We can do it either way. This is how we learn, right? Take a pic of each build and post it on the Discord and link the vote poll there. Why aren't you asleep, Brianna? <laughs> Google poll. Oh, you like the suggestion of having the pictures with it on Discord? Google Fall, whichever is easiest. Okay, I'm going to do the Google Poll. I'm just going to throw it into chat. Here's the link for that. Thirding breeze suggestion too. But I mean, the only thing I worry about with that is that, um, like some people aren't a member of the Discord. Which I don't know why. <laughs> That's my 4 a.m. pre-work brain for you. I mean, it's a good idea. A poll is going on. I thought it was going to end. Yeah, clearly. There's some issues with that thing. For sure. Like now it's never going to stop. <laughs> Okay, everybody click on that link. And then it has everybody there. And it should be easy peasy. Dare I say it? That works awesome, perfect. Yeah, that's how we do, like, a lot of the polls and stuff for the community through Discord, so.
Dun, 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 dun. Yay. All right, let's see. Let me go tell the Streamlabs poll to shut up already. <laughs> you messed up your job. We don't need you anymore. Bye-bye. No more of you. Done. Done, done, done. Is everybody done? I don't know if some people are watching on a phone. If it takes a little bit longer. It should go right to it. We do have a beautiful world for sure. Yes. Indeed. Right, Jan? You had one job. You had one job to do today. <laughs> Let's ask 8-Ball. Eight 8-Ball, eight is Streamlabs good at its job? I'm dancing. Look at my leg. I'm tapping my foot like Streamlabs. What is up with you? Eight ball. Did Streamlabs do a bad job today? Now, if 8-Ball doesn't answer, we get to kick Streamlabs. <laughs> Streamlabs also runs the 8-Ball. Not sure. See, he's trying to cover his backside. <laughs> Got a twitch in your leg. Might want to get it like that. I'm tapping my foot because I am impatient with Streamlabs. I'm like, why aren't you doing what you're supposed to be doing? I'm waiting. I'm waiting. <laughs> okay, I think everybody probably has had time to vote now. Yes, anyone not had time to vote yet? Let's go see. Okay. Quick, anybody tell me if they're still trying to vote. Five, four, three, two, one. I don't hear anybody. All right, we're going with what we've got so far. And the winner is Brianna! Yay! Woohoo! Ah! Hee hee! Yay! Nice job, Bri! Yay! <laughs> Grats, Brianna! Congo rats to you. Yay. Two events in a row. That's true, Vinny. I didn't even think about that. That is very true. So kind of what's funny about this too is that Brie is an admin. So I can say put your own vines on your house. <laughs> But I won't. I won't. I'll, I'll do it for her. She wants me to. <laughs> that was cool. So many cool builds. So many cool flowers. Very creative. And remember, everybody that participated today, you guys got two 
unplantable bushes or flowers planted where you would like them to be. And there's the picture and description on Discord of all the ones that you can do. Um, all of them. Raspberry bushes, blueberry bushes, the plains heath bushes that are taller, any of the ferns, um, cloudberries, thistles that have that nice glow. Whichever one you pick, everybody that participated gets two of those and Brie gets vines on a build. I love the vines. I really hope they find a way to let us do vines. I know so many people have asked the devs for it and they've said they think it's a good idea, but maybe it needs a purpose. <laughs> Make her plant her own trees. <laughs> Yeah, this was fun. This was fun. So, thanks to everybody that participated today. Let me look real quick and see if I go to YouTube. And, yeah, y'all just let us know on Discord when... Um, when you want your bushes or whatever planted and where you want them. And um, myself or one of the admins will come over and put them in for you wherever you want them. So if I filter this by live, let's see, can we find someone that's live in Valheim? Oh, that's in English would be good. Oh, got a lot of other languages doing Valheim at the moment. That's interesting. Hmm. Well, I don't see anyone right now that's live. Streamlabs, shut up. It's too late. Your job is done. You, you failed. You can't come back and try to do it now doesn't work like that <laughs> what a neat reward thanks Erica I I am excited about it there's so many times you're like oh if I could just have a little bush right here it would be so pretty yeah so I appreciate that awesome event thank you happy gamers come hang out with us on the server yes people come if you want to be a part of the happy gamer server there's information in the description down below you can join our discord and get lots of information there and we'd love to have you come and play with us that would be cool thanks for that reminder josh great job everybody vote everybody i know right <laughs> raquel blueberry bushes right blueberry bushes in the meadows that'd be cool that would be super cool. Okay, thanks for everybody for building, participating, voting, being here in stream. I appreciate it all. And until next time, happy gaming.